Hello children, I hope everyone are safe and sound staying at home. I am Mrs. Grace taking English Literature Class 6. So in the earlier video we have seen the lesson The Ransom of Red Chief. So in this lesson we have seen how two people Sam and Bill have kidnapped a 10 year old boy. He is the son of Ebenezer Dorset, a prominent uh, citizen of uh, Summit. A small town called Summit. So they needed two thousand dollars. So they kidnapped this boy for those two thousand dollars. They have already have six hundred dollars with him, and they needed more two thousand dollars to buy a land in Western Illinois. So as we um, as we were reading the lesson, we come to know that when they have kidnapped this boy, how this boy has driven Bill especially crazy he was at the back of bill he was giving lot of trouble to them and we see that this boy talks a lot too and um, we have seen how this boy was um, playing with bill and um, uh, giving him a terror kind of thing okay now we'll continue the lesson um, By and by, Bill calms down and says, Sam, you won't go away and leave me here alone, will you? I went out and caught that boy and shook him until his freckles rattled. If you don't behave, says I, I'll take you straight home. Now, be good. I made him and Bill shake hands. Then I took Bill aside and told him I was going to Poplar Cave, a, sorry, Poplar Cove, a little village three miles away to find out what reaction the kidnapping had caused. You know, Sam, says Bill, I've stood by you in earthquakes, fire and flood, in poker games, dynamite outrages, police raids, train robberies and cyclones. I never lost my nerve yet till we kidnapped that boy. You won't leave me long with me, with him, will you? I'll be back soon, says I. You must keep the boy amused till I return. Let's write the letter to Mr. Dorset, demanding the ransom and how it should be paid. Bill and I wrote it while Red Chief strutted up and down, guarding the cave. Bill begged me tearfully to make the ransom $1,500 instead of 2000 So, to relieve Bill, I agreed. Ebenezer Dorset, we have your boy. It is useless for anyone to attempt to find him. We will only return him if you meet these terms. We demand $1,500, the money to be left at midnight, tonight at the same box as your reply. At the loan tree, send your answer by messenger at half past eight tonight. If you attempt any treachery, you will, you will never see your boy again. If you pay the money, he will be returned to you safe and well. These terms are final and if you do not accede to them, no further communication will be attempted. Two desperate men. So here we see how um, desperate Bill was especially. He... With the um, tearful eyes, he begged Sam to make it fifteen hundred instead of two thousand dollars. So they wrote this letter to Ebenezer Dorset. I walked to Poplar Cave and sat around the post office store, chatting to customers. One guy says that he hears Summit is all upset on account of Elder Dorset's boy having been lost or so stolen. 
That was all I wanted to know. I posted my letter surreptitiously and came away. When I got back to the cave, Bill and the boy were not to be found, so I waited. Half an hour later, Bill appeared out of the bushes. Behind him was the kid, stepping softly like a scout. With a broad grin on his face, Bill stopped, took off his hat and wiped his face with a red handkerchief. The kid stopped about eight feet behind him. Sam says Bill, I am sorry, but the boy is gone. I have sent him home. I have been subjugated to such awful torture, I reached my limits. What's the trouble, Bill? I asked. I was rode like a horse, says Bill. Then I was given oats. Sand ain't edible, I tell you, Sam. A human can only stand so much. I take him down I takes him down the mountain on the way he kicks and bites. But he's gone, gone home. I showed him the way. I'm sorry we lose the ransom, but it was either that or me to the madhouse. Bill says hi. Have a look behind you. Bill turns and sees the boy and loses his complexion and sits down for an hour. I was afraid of his mind and then I reminded him that we would get the ransom and be off with it by midnight if old Dorset paid up. So Bill praised himself. So here we see Bill has attempted to leave the boy without uh, expecting any ransom from the father. So he took the boy and he showed him the way back home. And we see that how the boy returned um, with Bill back and Bill didn't even notice the boy is following him. So we'll continue. This was my scheme for collecting the ransom without being caught. The tree under which the answer and letter and later the money was to be left was in a wide open area. If any police came, I would see them a mile off. At half past eight, I was well hidden in the tree waiting. Exactly on time, a half-grown boy rides up the road on a bicycle, slips a note into the box and pedaled away again. Pedaled away again. I got the note and was back to the cave soon after. By the lantern, I read it to the. I read it to Bill. Two desperate men. Gentlemen, I received your letter. I think the ransom you ask for the return of my son is is a little high. I hereby make you a counter proposition, which I am sure you will accept. You pay me $250 in cash and I agree to take Johnny off your hands. But bring him at midnight so that the neighbors don't stop you. Very respectfully, Ebenezer Dorset. So here we see the letter of uh, Ebenezer Dorset. Instead of giving ransom to these two men, he, um, he has given a counter proposition. Uh, to these two men that if they pay back $250 to him, he will take, ba take back his son from these two, uh, two people. So, we will continue. The cheek I began, but I glanced at Bill and hesitated. His, high, his eyes were pleading with me. Sam says he. We've got the money. This kid will drive me crazy. I think Mr. Dorset is generous of making us such an offer. Don't let the chance go. Honestly, Bill, says I. He has got on my nerves too. 
will take Dorset's offer and make our get away. So we'll make our get away. That night we got him to go by saying that his father had bought a rifle for him and we were going to hunt bears the next day. Just at the moment when I should have been collecting a ransom, Bill was giving $250 to Dorset. When the kid found out we were going to leave him, he fastened himself as tight as a leech to Bill's leg. His father peeled him away. How long can, how long can you hold him? asked Bill. I am not as strong as I used to be, says old Dorset. But I think I can promise you 10 minutes. Enough, says Bill. In 10 minutes I shall cross the country and be over the Canadian border. And as dark as it was, and as fat as Bill was, and as good a runner as I am, he was a mile and a half out of summit before I could catch up with him. St a short story by O. Henry. So here we see how these two men have got their nerves have they have really uh, gone too much crazy that instead of taking ransom from the father they gave 250 dollars to return the boy back to the back to Ebenezer Dorset so this is how um, the kidnapping the tragedy uh, turns out to be a humor in this story so now you all uh, read this uh, uh, lesson and understand thank you children